Hello, I'm Roger Morgan. I'm a Cabinet Member at Wandsworth Council and today I'm here to talk to you about planning. So we're using our local plan to create a greener, more sustainable and more environmentally friendly borough for everyone who lives here. Planning is a key part of making sure that Wandsworth is reducing its carbon emissions and making its contribution to the UK and London targets of being net zero in 2050. The buildings and places we build now will still be here in 2050, so they need to be low carbon, low impact on our environment and adapted to a changing climate. Planning is one of the biggest levers we have to directly influence the shape of Wandsworth as a whole, which is why we've made sure that the new local plan is robust on climate change. The new local plan contains objectives and policies that require new developments to reduce carbon emissions and to adapt to climate change. These include all major developments must be zero carbon, new requirements for developments to include circular economy principles and whole life cycle assessments, and developers will be expected to reuse, recycle or recover 95% of construction and demolition waste. New developments are expected to connect to any existing decentralised energy network and where networks do not exist, development should make provision to connect to any future network that may be developed, having regard to the possibility for this to come forward. Ensuring that sustainable travel choices are maximised and that there are minimal impacts of development on congestion, air pollution and carbon dioxide emissions. Improving the health outcomes for residents, reinforced by digital infrastructure to support home working and local business hubs. Protection and enhancement of open spaces and green spaces with requirements to incorporate sustainable urban drainage systems in all development proposals.